Hey everybody, it's Stone here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Red! Last episode, we explored Pewter City and got our first gym badge from beating Brock in that gym right there. Uh, this episode, I think we're gonna head out to the east, because we can go this way now. And uh, if you stuck around to the end of last episode, you saw that the sign is uh, kind of interesting. Notice! Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. So I guess we're gonna head this way and see what's up. Um, I don't want to have Charmander in the lead because he is higher level than the other two. So I think I'm gonna put Pidgey out there uh, for now. Give him some time to shine. And there are a lot of trainers on this route. Um, this guy says, hey, I met you in Viridian Forest. So we've already fought this guy. Uh, of course it is gonna be uh, a little bit different. I think, I actually don't know. I don't remember any Body in Viridian Forest having level 10 Pokemon or having three of them. So yeah, it probably is different. It wouldn't really make any sense for them to have the exact same team. But as for most of these trainers, um, I am going to be cutting them out as well as any wild encounters because it is just kind of a waste of time uh, in the video. It's just kind of like, yeah, they're just random trainers that don't really have any importance. And I'll be doing that throughout the series with uh, anybody that's not an important battle or anything like that um but I think I will stick around uh, for the rest of this battle because I mean it's almost over anyway um, let's see we took down two of them and Pidgey grew to level 15 interesting um, I actually don't know what level Pidgey evolves um, I know that we have I, th I know that two I know that Charmander and Pidgey are both close to evolving I don't know exactly what level Pidgey evolves, but um, Charmander should evolve at level 16, if I'm not mistaken. And we defeated Bugcatcher. You beat me again! Yes, I did. So, as for the rest of these guys, I'll be cutting out their battles so uh, we don't waste as much time uh, just fighting random trainers. So, see you on the other side. took care of her and uh, what was it she said before the battle um you looked at me didn't you <laughs> something like that i don't know but here's another trainer so i'll be right back again oh this guy when <laughs> he said ah oh, they're comfy and easy to wear this is the one that's also a famous line that's ended up in a lot of different places and references if you don't know <laughs> shorts they're comfy and easy to wear i couldn't agree more i hate wearing pants so Pidgey grew to level 16 right there. Uh, apparently that wasn't the level he evolves, even though I thought it was. There are a ton of trainers on this route, so I'll be cutting a lot. All right, so I actually took out all three of those trainers right there that are in close proximity to one another. Um, I think there are more on up here a little bit. Yeah, this route is just full of battles all over the place. You can fight my new Pokemon. I wonder what his new Pokemon is. I think I'll stay here for this one. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'll cut away on this one. Let's see. What's he got? Caterpie? Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're that excited over a Caterpie. I mean, Butterfree does seem like a pretty cool Pokemon, but I don't think I could be that excited over a Caterpie unless it was shiny. And, yeah, I don't think there are shinies in Gen 1, so nothing to worry about there. Um... Metapod. Still bug types upon bug types, so I'm just gonna stay in with Pidgey and just completely annihilate them. <laughs> Harden is the only thing this thing can do, I'm pretty sure. And it worked! I mean, <laughs> hopefully this one will kill it. Or faint it. I'm just gonna say kill it from now on. I mean, I'm not gonna try to correct myself on that. And Pidgey grew to level 18. Interesting. What? Pidgey is evolving! So, after a battle, once a Pokemon reaches the level that it evolves at, uh, after the battle's over, it will evolve. And Pidgey, at level 18, evolves into Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto is, um... Just kind of like a bigger version of Pidgey. More powerful, of course. 
Um, so now that he's up there a little bit, I am going to switch um, Pikachu up front. And let's see. I don't think we've gotten the ability to use repels yet. Oh, this is a trainer. I didn't know if it was or not. Eek! Did you touch me? I definitely did not. Ugh, Pikachu took a beating in that battle, so I think I'm going to use a potion on him. And I guess Pidgeot could, Pidgeotto could use one as well, but I don't really feel like using one. I'm wasting another one. Let's see. What's on up here? A lot of empty space now. <laughs> I can see why they put all those trainers up there. I guess they ran out for this area. Whew, I better take a rest. Groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Route 3, Mount Moon ahead. Alright, so this place we've been hearing about, Mount Moon, is apparently right up ahead. And I ran into a wild Pokemon. Sparrow evolves into Firo. Um, a lot of people think it's a good substitute for Pidgeot. And Pidgey, and yeah, you get it. Uh, let's see. I don't remember if there's a Pokemon Center right before Mount Moon or not. I hope there is, because I don't want to have to use more potions. There is! Awesome. Coming through for the boy. Ouch! I tripped over a rocky Pokemon. Geodude. Geodude. They'll get you. They do just look like rocks with arms. So I just kind of did waste a potion back there. I didn't even need to use it, because I can just heal up here. And take my Pokemon, then. And make them better. Please. Fighting fit. Let's see what these people have to say. I have six Pokeballs set in my belt. At most, you can carry six Pokemon. Yep, we already know that. If you have too many Pokemon, you should store them in via PC. Which is uh, this machine over here. But we'll get to that later. I actually don't know if I'll end up catching more than... Well, yeah, I probably will. Just to show that off. Let's see. This the sign. Mount Moon, tunnel entrance. Okay. Um, I don't know... There are a ton of wild encounters here. This is the Geodude that the girl was talking about back there. At least I think it was a girl. Um, yeah, I don't think we have the ability to use repels yet. I haven't gotten any. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of wild encounters. I guess I will be cutting them out um, because there's just way too many. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. And there's tons of trainers too, so lots to do in here. None of it's too fun. It's just kind of a dungeon type area. I never did like Mount Moon when it comes to like it's just like you get started on this fun adventure and like everything's going all right. You know, you get your first gym badge. You made it through a forest that wasn't too bad. You know, you're actually having fun with the game, and then you come to this place and it's like, eh, I don't like this place too much. Ooh, this Clefairy is tough. Taking a lot of hits. Well, too bad Thundershock is special. I think it is, at least. It should be. If it's not. <laughs> I don't know. The Gen 1 was really weird with how it classified special. and That, that classification was weird up until Gen 4, when they finally fixed everything. Being... Like, they changed it from... Uh, being classified between uh, typings and individual moves, which was really useful. I'm actually gonna go... Oh, this is a Zubat. Uh, I haven't seen this one yet. This is the Bloodsucker, the Bat Pokemon. Um, I'm actually gonna run back to Pewter City real quick to see if they have repels in the Pokemart. I don't think they do, and I don't even know if I have enough money or not to... Oh yeah, I should have plenty. So... I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and no, they do not sell potions this or er, repels this early in the game. Actually, I don't even know if there are repels in Gen One. That's really depressing to think about if there's not. So I'll be cutting out a lot, a lot of wild encounters. I did, however, buy uh, a few potions and a few pokeballs and even a few escape ropes because those might be useful. Um, I don't... Yeah, there's an item down here. I, I was going to say, there's going to be something down here. TM12. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> we might find out sometime if I ever decide to use it. There's another item up here. Potion. And I'll be right back because of this battle. 
Suspicious men are in the cave, so we're hearing more about this suspect activity going on in here. All right, let's go on over here a little bit to the uh, right side of the area, the eastern side. There are little ladders uh, that takes you to a different floor of the dungeon. And this guy spotted me. What? Don't sneak up on me. Okay, Charmander actually grew to level 16 in this fight. Interesting. I think you all know by this point why it's interesting, because I mentioned it earlier. <laughs> um, yeah, Charmander should be evolving after this fight. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. It sh he should be evolving. Yeah, what? Charmander is evolving. And Charmander evolves into Charmeleon. If you had picked Bulbasaur, you would uh, he would evolve into an Ivysaur, and if you picked a Squirtle, it would evolve into a Wartortle. All of them are just kind of stronger, more capable versions of the base Pokemon. So yeah, evolution is pretty much the same. Well, I'm not going to say the same over all Pokemon, but it's the same general idea. Now over here, there's an item called a Rare Candy. This will raise your Pokemon's level by one if you use it on them. So a very useful item. Took care of him, and I spotted another item up here, which is an escape robe, so I didn't have to buy those after all. Dang. Um, anything up here? No. Ooh, somebody to fight. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Took care of her, and I thought I'd go back down here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Ah, uh, wild encounters are horrible. I wish that they could sell repels this early in the game. I don't even know. If, I hope there's repels in, in Gen 1. I don't actually know if there are or not. All right, yeah, I didn't miss anything down here. <clears throat> down here. Come on, voice. Don't crack like that. Crack like an egg. So many wild encounters. Jeez. Let's see. Actually, maybe this place isn't as long as I remember it being. Uh, here's another somebody to fight. Let's see what's on over here. Pikachu actually leveled up and learned uh, Quick Attack in that fight. So that's interesting. What's this guy? Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. <laughs> Took care of that hiker, and there's another item up here in the corner. A Moonstone. So we heard about the Moonstones back in Pewter City. Let's check and see what's down here. I actually realized that I missed a couple ladders, and I'll go back and check those out, I guess, later. Um, I don't know what's down them. I don't remember this place by heart. It's not all that interesting to me. Get away from that Geodude. That was a clef area right there. And that wild encounter. I don't actually want to catch one of those, though. Let's see. Why? Come on! Cut me a break, wild Pokemon. Jesus Christ. There is no hope. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. Okay, this guy is important. Rocket wants to fight. This is one of the suspicious men that we heard about that's in Mount Moon. And, um, he is pretty suspicious. He, he's, holding, he's holding a whip. Or at least it looked like it. I don't know. Please get paralyzed. Oh, that did so much damage. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, he missed good. I should have used the potion last turn. Hopefully that won't do as much anymore. Tail Whip, all right, good. So maybe I can take him out before he... This thing's pretty strong. Uh, Hyper Fang! Oh, no, 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 no. That, yeah, I figured that would kill. That's a really strong move this early in the game. All right, so we I think that's our first time having a Pokemon faint in this run. I'm just going to use Scratch and get rid of this thing. This thing is powerful! Jeez! Charmander gets all the glory, or Charmeleon gets all the glory for that. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, it's up to... Gonna say, before I was so rudely interrupted, it's gonna be up to Charmeleon and Pidgeotto to lead the way as of now without uh, Pikachu around. 
Hopefully there won't be too much trouble. Where is this even going? Where does this even lead to? Can you walk on this? No. Okay, I figured you couldn't. I was just making sure. More of these guys. Team Rocket will find the fossils, revive, and sell them for cash. Dang, that's crazy. I am going to cut out some of these battles too, so yeah. Took care of him and Pidgeotto grew to level 19. Let's see. So many wild encounters and I can't use... And I can't use a repel. <laughs> Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. So, someone actually found the fossils. This is Super Nerd. What's the fight? Uh, he has a Grimer. None of the Pokemon I've seen have been that strong as that as that Raticate. That thing was crazy. All right, that did over half. Wasn't even a critical. No big deal. Let's just take this thing down. And he's out of here. Who's up next? Uh, Voltorb. I am going to switch for this one because it's an electric type. So get out there, Charmeleon. It's in level 17, but I am down a lot of HP, so I'm going to use a potion on him. 30, get it back to 37 HP. Tackle shouldn't do much. Yeah, okay. I was fine anyway. Use an Ember. That did not do over half. Maybe I'll get a crit right here. Nope. Alright, it's down right here. Who's up next? Give me another one. Another one. Charmeleon grew to level 18. It's getting on up there. Coughing? Nah, just leave out Charmeleon. Let him take this thing out. Got him. Well over half. And this should end the fight right here. Okay, hangs on by a thread of HP. And he's down. Defeated Super Nerd. Okay, I'll share. <laughs> Alright. Two fossils here. You want the Helix Fossil? Or you want the Dome Fossil? Um... I know that the two Pokemon uh, fossils are either Kabutops or Aerodactyl, I think. I think Aerodactyl. It might be uh, Amastar. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Aerodactyl. I know that the Dome fossil is... Like, it would make sense for the Dome fossil to be Kabutops because the shape of it. So, I'm going to go with the Helix fossil. And he's going to take the other one. And we can just go on through. <laughs> so that was the whole ordeal with the fossils. And looks like we made it all the way through. Let's see here. Route 4, Mount Moon, Cerulean City. Did we make it all the way to Cerulean City? What's up here? Absolutely nothing. What the hell is the point of this then? <laughs> that whole like section up there. What's the point of that? <laughs> There's nothing there. Let's see what's down here. It's a pretty big wide open route. Okay, there was. I don't understand the design of some of these routes. Um, up here? No. Where do you go? I don't actually remember. Oh, a little staircase right there. A little place to get up. Uh, ooh, item. TM04. Don't remember what that is. I don't actually remember any of the uh, TMs off the top of my head. Um, let's see. Can't get up there to where that girl is. Uh, so I think I'm just going to hop down the ledges to get down here. This patch of grass, I'm probably going to run into a wild poke. Oh, I didn't. Hey, I'm happy now. <laughs> And everything turns blue because we're in Cerulean City. Gonna go ahead and heal up. We made it through Mount Moon and we stopped them from stealing the fossils by stealing them ourselves. <laughs> oh, 
I actually, there are the two ladders that I need to go back and check uh, to see what was under them, or to see where they led, so... I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, so I found out you can't actually get back to Mount Moon. The path is blocked off by those ledges that we hopped down. You can't get back to Mount Moon from here unless you do something that I don't want to do right now. I want to cover it next time. So, <laughs> this episode of Pokemon Red, we traveled through the route from Pewter to Mount Moon, went through Mount Moon, got ourselves a Pokemon fossil that should be revived into Aerodactyl, and uh, made it to Cerulean City, where everything is blue. They rock Kentucky blue on these hoes. So, next time on Pokemon Red, we're going to go check out everything there is to do in Cerulean City. See you guys then.